look in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, the talking point that I'm going to be discussing with you today Is about how modern women, black women in particular Seem to be dressing like smelly, smelly prostitutes and hookers and that's my humble opinion. And you're going to hear a lot about that in this educational video and documentary about the behavioral dressing of the prostitute. Anyway, let me get into this right quick. I think it's going to be a very good informative video. Ladies, I hope you pay attention. Let's get it. Excuse me, I forgot another low video. But y'all got to hear this. You don't want this woman doing certain things or dressing certain ways. And every time we go out and dressing really overly sexy, we're putting our man's life in danger. Bingo. Whenever you women dress like a hoe, showing everything very, mm. excuse because me, dressing very sexually provocative and showing your cleavage and your buttocks and stuff like that. And you got a man and he with you, he a fool for being with you for one. But you are bringing danger to that man. Now, a lot of you women would say some stupid thing like, well, he ain't a real man. He need to stand up and protect me. You got to give him something to protect, woman. Shit. A man wants to protect the honor of his woman if that's his woman. But when you dress like a hoe, you are letting the world know that you are not his woman. If your woman dressed like a slut, man, I mean, everything is poking out. Curves. She, some women are built sexy. I get it. But there are certain types of ways that these women would dress that draw men's attention. And you know it. When a woman dressed like that, she want attention, okay? When a woman dressed like that, she don't respect you and she don't respect herself, man. And you're going to have a problem. You're going to have men probably catcalling her in front of you. And then you're going to probably have to fight these dudes. You might get shot. You, my daddy taught me a long time ago. You never know how a fight ends, man. You can come to a fight thinking you're going to throw them hands and he got a knife. You can come to a fight thinking you got a knife about to cut him he got a gun. You, you might think you're going to be a one-on-one -on -one and get jumped and lose your life, man. Women put men in danger all the time and they out there hollering, why nobody protect us? Why nobody's protecting us? You're not worth it. Why would I lose my life behind a woman who don't love me and respect me enough who's going to keep dressing like a hoe when you with me? No, no, no. Every time a woman put herself out there like that and she got a man, she is putting that man's life in danger. She is putting that man in a situation of where he could get great bodily harm done to him from other men. All because some men cannot control themselves. Some men cannot control their impulses. Some men cannot control their desires. Some men cannot control their mouths. As soon as they see it, they want it and they're going to express it. No matter if that man is six foot five and 280 solid muscle, there are some men who simply don't give a damn and go after that woman in front of that man. And that man does not want to look like a punk in front of him, himself, women, or anyone else. So he's going to try to defend you and lose his life, possibly, because you want to dress like a hoe. What happened to modesty? Why are you women so against virtue? Why are you women so against doing what's right? Why are you women so against looking like a modest woman of integrity? Why are you women always want to be the next sexiest thing out there? Why you want to put yourselves out there like no one can, no one else can um touch me? I'm the sexiest thing in the room. There ain't no pride in that. Ain't no money in that. We're putting our man's life in danger. Mm. Because if somebody say to us out of order, say something to us out of order or wrong, then his manhood say he got to step up and defend us. Exactly. You make a man feel like he got to be a, more of a man. You pulling out the masculinity. These women, whenever a woman dressed like a hoe, she is manipulating your masculinity if you are in a relationship with her. Oh, you hear me? Listen, if you got a woman and you can't correct her about the way she dressed because she dressed too provocative, she is manipulating your manhood because she's trying to make you come out as the protector. In case someone disrespect her, she wants you to come out like a wild pit bull that's been set off the leash, off the chain to attack the people who are provoking her. When it would never have happened, most likely, if she would have carried herself and dressed like a damn lady. Why has it become looking like a lady is not cool no more? If you want to be a part of the in crowd, you got to act like a hoe and talk loud. If you want to be a part of the in crowd, you got to let people see the print of your vagina. 
If you want to be a part of the in crowd, you got to let people see those nipple ring piercings through your sheer shirt. Huh? When did that become acceptable? When did that become the staple? That's supposed to be the thing that defines women now. Not all men want that. And you might try to counter me with, um, y'all like hoes. Yeah, we like hoes when it's coming down to fucking hoes. But no man wants a relationship with a hoe. Stop trying to make things what they're not. Being a hoe is wrong, okay? Since people don't want to say it, being a woman who lives a lifestyle of promiscuity, sleeping with random men, a lot of random men, is wrong. There is nothing right with that. I don't care. See, y'all get on these talk shows and other dumbass women get up there and defend your actions. And most of the time, these dumbass women that defend your actions, they're single themselves. Most of these women who defend this type of toxicity when it comes to fashion and dress are women who cannot maintain relationships. Most of the time, they are hoes themselves. Most of the time, they are bitter themselves. Being a hoe, dressing like a hoe, majority of the time is an indicator of a bitter woman. Because most bitter women dress like hoes. They don't want men, but they try to attract a man. They want to attract men. They don't want them, but they want to attract them. They just want fucking attention. You are desperate. You are a desperate woman when you come out in public and dress like a hoe. You are desperate. You have a signboard on your body saying, I am a slutty dressing woman. Do not respect me. And then you want to holler out, respect me. We ain't going to respect that. Why do we respect that? Why would we respect that? The only way we would respect that if that was your profession, meaning that you were actually in the adult industry and that you was an adult actress and you have to get naked and you have to do things like that to get your money. Even though that's a profession that is looked down upon, frowned upon, I would have more respect for that woman because that's what she knows she is. She's not hiding. She's not saying, hey, you can't talk to me like I'm a hoe because I know I am a hoe. It's the women who dress like hoes, act like hoes, talk like hoes, sleep with many men like hoes, sleep with women like hoes, don't know she's straight, bisexual, straight, gay, don't know any of that stuff. And that's no insult to the LGBTQIA because y'all are the most of easily offended people on the planet right now. So like I say, you dressing like a whore is not a flex. It's demeaning. You demean yourself before men demean you. You disrespect yourselves before men disrespect you. You get what I'm saying? You come out the house already with a damn sign that says disrespect me. You knew how you looked before you walked out that door. And you knew what you wore, how it would affect men. You knew how it would affect women. You knew how it would affect other people. Some of you women don't got no damn sense that even schools where their teenagers at have to enforce a dress code at the schools because women want to dress like whores coming into the school around other kids, around other women, men, around parents, looking like they just came out the stripper pole, looking like they just came out the bedroom, half naked, going to pick up their children. So now schools have to implement a dress code. This is how wild and riotous you have become. This is how far you have fallen from grace to the point that you don't even care if other little innocent eyes of children behold you in your whoredom. You don't care if they behold you as a whore. You don't care. You don't care if you come out to the school and in front of principals and stuff and want to show your vagina print in your leggings. You don't care. Being a hoe is the way to go for today's hoes in 2024. Let's keep going. Over nothing, over some foolishness. And if you got a man and you satisfied and happy with him, then why are you going out trying to entice new men? Mm -hmm. And Make the more clothes, the more clothes a woman take mm -hmm. off, the more desperate she is. That exactly. The more clothes that a woman take off, the more scandalous that she is, the more scantily dressed that she is. When she has hardly anything on or something that's over revealing, she is desperate for attention. She is desperate. You're needy. You're thirsty. You're dusty. You say men are thirsty. No. Who is it that make thirst traps? When you make these pictures and they're thirst traps, it takes a thirsty person to set up the trap. Like a person who's out there hunting and want to catch some uh, a coon or whatever it is to eat. The person who catches that who set up the trap is the hungry person. It ain't the animal. You may 
put something out there for the animal to want to get, to entice the animal to where he wants something that he may want to eat. But at the end of the day, it is the person who set the trap that is the hungriest. So when you make these thirst trap videos and thirst trap pictures on your um, social media, it shows how desperate you are for attention. You are the one who is thirsty, not the man. That means she bold and brave and want to give with somebody. That means she's desperate and that's a cry. Please give me some attention. Please look at me. Say something. Do something. That's what that is. And that's the condition of many of us. That's not anything that's an insult. We're talking reality. We have got to deal with the reality of our lives so that we can make correction. But making up all of this stuff. And exactly. I made my point. Y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll be talking to y'all some other time. Y'all have a great day now, you hear? Ooh.